Hi everyone, it's me. So you may have noticed the rising popularity of low impact workouts. I've definitely noticed it. I feel like low impact workouts are a popular choice because you know, in general, we do want to be kinder to our joints and sometimes we're just not in the mood to jump around all over the place. I feel like people also relate low impact to low intensity a lot of the time and I don't think that's necessarily true. So this week we are going to try a bunch of different low low impact workouts and see if we can get some really good high intensity workouts from them. So without further ado, I have selected some popular low impact workouts to try this week. The first one we will be doing is from The Body Project. This one is a 30 minute low impact home cardio workout. So I have never tried this channel before. How many subscribers and views does this video have? Excuse me, iPad, can you like work? This workout I am doing today has 3 million views and this channel has 1.6 million subscribers. So it is a pretty big channel. But yeah, that is what we'll be starting with today. So let's go. That one was actually really good. I really liked it. Also, there's a very loud, annoying construction sound going on outside that I'm sure you can hear in the camera right now. So I really apologize in advance. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's try and see if this noise is quieter somewhere else. Let's go on a field trip. No, I feel like it's louder here. Should we go to the bathroom? We'll go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> This is what it's come to. To escape the construction sounds that are going on outside, we are now in my very echoey bathroom and I'm sitting on my toilet right now. So we're getting nice, close up, intimate and personal right now, okay? <laughs> so just for a brief overview of the structure of this workout because I've never done one before. This was my first one, so it was a new experience for me. The workout was one of those all-in-one complete workout. So there was a warm up at the beginning, we had the bulk of the workout, then there was just like a one minute like kind of jam dance party, which was kind of fun. And then at the end, there was a nice cool down with some basic stretching, so I thought that was wonderful. For the exercises, each exercise was active for 30 seconds each. And between each exercise, there was an untimed rest period. So I don't know how long the rests were, but the rest periods were active rest periods. So we were always either walking, marching, doing some sort of step. Most of this workout, I would say, was very kickbox based, which I love. You know how I feel about a good kickbox workout. And everything was standing up. So we didn't go to the ground for any exercises. You know, we didn't go on our backs or our knees or anything. The music music was really different too. It's not really your typical music that you expect in a workout video now. The music in this one was very techno-y, <laughs> but I actually didn't mind it. I actually really enjoyed it and the beat was really good to follow. At the end of the workout as well, when we're doing the cool down stretches, the instructor actually started giving a Sydney type motivational speech. So I really thought that was a nice touch. Maybe this is the male Sydney, who knows? <laughs> For my ratings on this one, I'm gonna give intensity an 8.7. I definitely had a really good workout from this one. For fun, I'm gonna give this one a nine. I'm glad I've discovered this channel and I can try more workouts from them. But that is it for today from me and my bathroom. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully the construction sounds will be gone. <laughs> okay, the second workout we will be trying in this low impact workout series is growing a Nana's 30 minute low impact full body workout, no equipment, no jumping, no repeat. So I have actually recently just finished a Growing Anana seven day program. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it up top here, wherever it is. So yeah, I have recently grown a love for Growing Anana, so I'm actually very excited to do this workout. So Anna 
Hannah's workout here compared to the body project that I did yesterday was a lot more strength based versus just cardio based so I definitely liked that I can feel myself getting stronger from this one the music in this one was really fun I really liked this one <laughs> so as with all of growing a Nana's workouts this one included a five minute warm-up that was prior to the 30 minute countdown starting so this video was actually closer to 35 minutes long surprisingly this one did not include a cool down which is weird because I've gotten used to growing a Nana's having cool downs and post-workout stretches after every single workout the structure was the usual growing a Nana structure so 50 seconds on 10 seconds off and I can fully confirm this was not a low intensity workout low impact yes low intensity no for my ratings I'm gonna give intensity a 9.2 for this one and for fun I'm gonna give this a 9 that is it for growing a Nana's day I will see you tomorrow. Hi friends. Today for our low impact workout, we are doing one from Grow with Joe. I very, very recently just tried to work it from her for the first time and I really enjoyed it. It was a little bit long, the one that I tried, which is like my only critique. <laughs> that one was about 40 minutes long. The one I'm doing today is called Indoor Fat Burning Walking Workout. And this video is about 20 minutes long. So I think this will be a bit more my style in terms of length. I think this will wake me right up this morning. <laughs> Yep, that 20 minute length is definitely the better length for me. <laughs> so each exercise was active for 40 seconds and then in between each exercise there was a 20 second active rest period where you just keep marching, like walking. <laughs> a few of the exercises got repeated twice but not all of them I don't believe. There was one exercise in this workout though where we did jogging on the spot. It wasn't like high knees or anything, it was just light jogging so I don't know if that's still considered low impact or not maybe it is I'm not an expert maybe you're not jumping high enough to consider it high impact because I know like jump rope is not technically high impact I'm not an expert at this so if you know the answer please let me know in the comments so for intensity on this one I'm gonna give it an 8 compared to the other two I have tried so far this week it was definitely the lowest intensity so far and then for fun factor I'm also going to give this one an 8 Joe always has such a great energy that is it for this one okay for today's workout, we have a Caroline Gervin workout. I actually haven't done a Caroline workout in a couple of weeks now, so it should be fun. This one is called 30 minute cardio workout at home, low impact steady state. So I don't think I have tried a low impact like this style of workout from her before. We'll see how it goes. that one. I realized just how much I miss doing Caroline workouts. She's really amazing. This one was a little different than what I'm used to seeing from her because it's the low impact steady state. So instead of doing active sets and rest time, the entire workout was active time. So we did each exercise for 45 seconds each, but they were just one right after the other. There were no breaks. That being said, all the exercises individually were lower intensity exercises, but the fact that we had no breaks in between made them feel higher intense when you do them all together in a sequence if that makes sense <laughs> there were no repeats which I love you know that I love that for me when there's no rest times in a workout for some reason I feel like it passes by quicker rest times make workouts feel like they drag on longer for me I don't know if that's just me am I crazy let me know if you feel the same way or if you think I'm just completely nuts for thinking that for my ratings on this one I'm gonna give intensity a 9 and I'm going to give fun factor a 
a 9.5. Really liked this one. It had the usual Caroline energy, the usual Caroline good vibes. I will see you tomorrow. All right, we have made it to the last low impact workout we are going to be trying in this week's video. And this last one is going to be from Heather Robertson. My voice just cracked, did you hear that? <laughs> this video is called New Low Impact Workout Program. All I know about this one, it is also around 30 minutes long, but this one does require dumbbells. So I will just be using my usual eight pounds over here. But let's get started. Last workout of the week. I am sweaty. <laughs> so another great workout. Definitely not low intensity again for this one. This was very much a strength-based workout. For the structure of this one, we did each exercise for 40 seconds each and there were 20 second breaks in between. There was a warm up and a cool down that was outside that 30 minute range. So this workout actually ended up being closer to, it was 36 minutes. So you are getting a full 30 minutes of workout outside of warm up and cool down. And then for the workout, the entire thing was broken down into like three to four minute chunks and then each three to four minute chunk was repeated. The repeats in this one didn't feel too bad for me. I think because first of all, they weren't right after each other. And then second of all, the circuits were only three to four minutes long. So they were quite short circuits. I didn't know the repeats didn't bug me as much as they normally would. Something I just noticed about the rest time at the beginning of the workout, I thought 20 seconds of rest was gonna be too long for the exercises we were doing. But then by the end of the workout, I was very glad for those 20 second breaks. So I think that was a good choice. Lots of upper body for sure, which I think is very rare to see in a female led workout for some reason on YouTube. For my ratings on this one, I'm gonna give a 9.2 for intensity. And then for fun, I'm gonna give an 8.5. I think this one was all around really good. And yeah, this is the start of a six week low impact workout program. So if you're looking for a good low impact program to try, I would recommend this one. It definitely was a great start to it. But yeah, that brings us to the end of our low impact week. After doing all of these low impact workouts, I can definitely confirm that low impact does not equal low intensity. You can see from the stats here from all the workouts this week that we had consistently good intensity levels, good calorie amounts burned if you are a calorie tracker. And yeah, I really enjoyed this week to be honest. I didn't really miss jumping. I feel like a shift to low impact is a smart move, especially if you wanna take care of your joints. In terms of workouts that I would recommend from this batch, to be honest, I liked all of them. I think they were all solid workouts, but just to name a couple of standouts for me. I really enjoyed the body project. They were a new channel to me. I had never tried them before this week and I really enjoyed that workout. So I definitely want to try more from them in the future. And then yeah, the other four I also really love. They were all very great workouts and you're not gonna lose if you try any of them. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, what is a cute emoji? Give me those like clapping emojis. You know, the ones that are like. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe. Whoa. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.